Good morning. How are you today? I hope all of you are fine. Uh, so today we have a revision in unit eight, lesson one and two. Are you ready? Let's start. Okay, the first question is, what are space? And he answered, we are cleaning the music room. What are you doing? What are you dead, do, or does? Of course, the first one, it will be, what are you doing? What are you doing? We are cleaning the music room. The next question is, choose the right answer. Can I space you? Yes, please. Can I hit you? Can I help you? Can I write you? Can I read you? Which one do you think is the right one? Of course it is. Can I help you? It will be B. The next one, choose the right answer. Uh, uh, how, when, what, can I help you? Uh, uh, move the base, the answer. How can I help you? When can I help you? What can I help you? The right answer, of course, is will be how. How can I help you? The next one. Punctuation. Ms. Dina helps Mona. And uh, do you think what should I do in this sentence? Yeah, right. Of course, I will do the M letter capital, D letter capital, and M letter here capital. I'll put full stop at the end of the sentence. Okay, the next one. No, I can't. I have to punctuate this sentence too. What should I do, you think? Yeah, you are right. I will start with apostrophe here, and the I will be capital. Choose the right answer. I go to school to or by or for bus. Which one do you think is the right one? I go to school to bus, by bus, for bus. Of course, it will be by bus. Okay, the next one. I have English and math in, on, at Monday. I have an English and math in, on, at Monday. Which one do you think? Okay, let's see the answer. It's on Monday, but why? Why here we use on, not in or at? Because we have learned it before that days uh, goes with on. Month, months goes with in, and hours goes with at. The next one, are you playing the space? Are playing the, uh, the space electric keyboard? Can you skip this question? Okay, the next question is, I play the cello, bad, hard, quietly. I play the cello, bad, hard, quietly. Which one do you think is the right one? Of course it will be quietly, but why? Why, why here we use the word quietly? Because it's an adverb, and we talked before that we use the adverb when I talked about the verb, not the person. If I was talking about this person, I will use bad or hard. But if I'm talking about the verb, what this person do, of course it will be an adverb and of course it will be quietly. The next one, choose the right answer. She want, wants, wanting a slice of turkey. She want, wants, wanting a slice of turkey. She wants, but why? Why here we use, why here we use wants instead of want or wanting? Do you think why? Okay, I'll tell you why it's wants. Because we have learned it in the present simple that when the subject is he, she, or at, of course I'll use with the verb S, E, S, or I, E, S. So here the subject is she. So as I learned that I have to select the one who ends with S. The next one. When I was five, I space ride a bike. I do, I can, I could. When I was five, I do, I can, I could ride a bike. Which one do you think is the right answer? Yeah, I know you got it. 
Of course, it will be, I could ride the, a bike. Why? Why I could ride a bike? Because that's in the past. When I was five, I could do that thing. So what if we were at the present right now? It will be, I can ride a bike. So here we are in the past. So we used could. The next one. When I was four, I could say my name. Now I space write it. Now I what? I can or I could. You may notice this because we talked about it. I think one minute before I told you that we use could in the past. But if we are in the present right now, we use the word can. So can used in the present and could in the past. Here, he told me when I was four in the past, I could say my name. That was in the past, but now he told me now. So it will be, I can write it. Okay, the next one. Rearrange the following words to make meaningful sentence. It's hard, can't, to, I. What do you think is the right answer? It's hard, can't, to. Have you got it? Of course, I know you got it. It will be, it's too hard. I can't, it's too hard. Again, it will be, I can't, it's too hard. Okay. The next one. Homework out, please, with that and pass. Again, we arrange the sentence. We have homework out, please, the and pass. Which one do you think is the first word we have to start with? Okay, I'll give you a hint. The first one, it will be pass. What do you think is the right answer? Okay, let me show you. Pass the homework, please. I'm sure you did it right. Again, it will be pass the homework, please. Okay, the next one, or please pass the homework. Both of them are right. We have in this sentence, get, dead, Karim, what, you. What do you think is the right answer? We will start this question with the word what. Have you got it? Okay, what did you get Karim? Again, it will be what did you get Karim? So this is the right answer. The next question. Bunkituate the, bunk the following sentence. Is she going out tonight? Is she going out tonight? Okay, which letters do you think we have to bunk it with or to make it capital in this sentence? Okay, as we learned before that our first letter in the sentence, it must be a capital. And then, okay, we have noticed that we made the I capital and then we put a question mark at the end of the sentence. Supposed to be. Bunk it with the next sentence. Yesterday, Manan went to the zoo. Yesterday, Manan went to the zoo. What do you think I should do with this sentence? Okay, let's see. We made the first letter, as we have learned it before, a capital letter, and Manan, it, she is a girl, so we have to make her first letter capital, and then the zoo, because it's a place. The next one. Circle the old one and replace it with another word. We have school, uh, we have zoo, school, name, and kindergarten. Which one do you think is the old word? I think it's too easy for you to know. Zoo, school, uh, zoo, school, name, and kindergarten. It's too easy. Okay, it's of course it will be name. Why? Because zoo is a place. School is a place. Kindergarten also a place, but name is not. So I have to replace it with another word, and of course it will be a place too. So we put here hotel. So it must be zoo, school, hotel, and kindergarten, or any other places. The next one. Here we have door, tea, desk, and board. Again, door, tea, desk, and board. Door, of course you know this, the door. Tea, desk, and board. The right answer, or the old word, is T. Why? Because desk, we all know the desk. Like in the school, the door, like this. We use the door and board like this. This is board. So all our materials, but T is a drinking thing. We will replace the word T and put, instead of her, T, 
chair. Rearrange the following sentence, the clean please board. Which one do you think is the right answer or how can I rearrange this sentence? Okay, it will be clean the board, please. Again, it will be clean the board, please. The next one, here we have a question. Letter U can the D and write. This is a rearranged sentence. Okay, I'll give you a head. We will start this sentence with the word write. What do you think is the right rearrangement for this question? Have you got it? Of course you are right. Write the letter. Can you write, uh, I'll start this sentence. Can you write the letter D? Again, it will be, can you write the letter D? So this is the right one. So I hope you got a benefit today. Thank you for our, for listening to my presentation or my revision today. I hope I, thank you for watching. Anyone have any questions? Any questions? Okay, thank you.